How to instantiate a transformers model. In this video, we'll look at how we can create and use a model from the transformers library. As we've seen before, the AutoModel class allows you to instantiate a pre-trained model from any checkpoint on the Inkface hub. It will pick the right model class from the library to instantiate the proper architecture and load the weights of the pre-trained model inside. As we can see, when given a BERT checkpoint, we end up with a BERT model, and similarly for GPT-2 or BART. Behind the scenes, this API can take the name of a checkpoint on the hub, in which case it will download and cache the configuration file as well as a model weights file. You can also specify the path to a local folder that contains a valid configuration file and a model weights file. To instantiate the pre-trained model, the AutoModel API will first open the configuration file to look at the configuration class that should be used. The configuration class depends on the type of the model, BERT, GPT-2, or BART, for instance. Once it has a proper configuration class, it can instantiate that configuration, which is a blueprint to know how to create the model. It also uses this configuration class to find the proper model class, which is then combined with the loaded configuration to load the model. This model is not yet a pre-trained model, as it has just been initialized with random weights. The last step is to load the weights from the model file inside this model. To easily load the configuration of a model from any checkpoint or a folder containing the configuration file, we can use the autoconfig class. Like the automodel class, it will pick the right configuration class from the library. We can also use a specific class corresponding to a checkpoint, but we'll need to change the code each time we want to try a different model architecture. As we said before, the configuration of a model is a blueprint that contains all the information necessary to create the model architecture. For instance, the BERT model associated with the BERT-based case checkpoint has 12 layers, a hidden side of 768, and a vocabulary size of 28,996. Once we have the configuration, we can create a model that has the same architecture as our checkpoint, but is randomly initialized. We can then train it from scratch like any PyTorch model. We can also change any part of the configuration by using keyword arguments. The second snippet of code instantiates a randomly initialized BERT model with 10 layers instead of 12. Saving a model once it's trained or fine-tuned is very easy. We just have to use the safe pre-train method. Here, the model will be saved in a folder named MyBertModel inside the current working directory. Such a model can then be reloaded using the from pretrain method. To learn how to easily upload this model to the hub, check out the push to hub video.